if you run an online business and you spend money on your advertising, then it's crucial for you to be able uh, to measure the effectiveness of your campaigns. So the easiest way to do this is to use Google Analytics goals. In this video, I will show you how to create the goals in Google Analytics. Come with me, I'll show you. To set up your goals in Google Analytics, first of all, you need to log in into your Google Analytics account and choose the tab Admin. Now here, on the right hand side, you will find the tab Goal. Choose it. And here you can, you can see you can add a new goal. Okay, so now I'll just click on it. What options do you have? You can choose the template. Google is trying to really help you to understand and to help you to create this new goals and also give you some ideas what actually could be your goal. But maybe before you do all this thing, what would you like to set up as a goal? Um, is it um, um, making appointments, uh, registration, or um, maybe a contact us submission, form submission, or something else? So you have to think about it first before you create a goal. And now let's choose for what for the start just this custom one and click on continue. Let's say we want to um, to track registrations um, and you have um, your thank you page for it. Once a user completes the registration, the thank you page will be shown. So let's call it registration thank you, for example. So you know exactly what is it about. Now, those are four types of goals that you can use in Google Analytics. Um, we can, um, you can check all of them. In this first case, it is a destination. What that means, destination means it is a um, specific site on your website, a specific page on your website that you're gonna track. In this case, it is your thank you page from a registration form. So let's choose this one and go continue. Now you can define, you always start with a slash because you have already your top, the top level domain. Um, Google Analytics has it already, so you don't have to put the whole domain. This, um, this would be a mistake. So please don't put your top level domain anymore. Just put what's coming up after slash. In this case, it could be uh, your thank you page, um, which can look like this or like this or PHP, whatever your thank you page um, or domain is. And if it's case sensitive, you just click here um, or not, just leave it like this. Then a value, it's optional, you don't have to, to do anything about it, but if you feel like you need to track a value with your conversion, you can put whatever is. Um, yeah, whatever it's worth one registration you can do, so to do this, right? And final is optional too, um, it's a little bit more advanced, so just leave it for now. Um, before you create this goal, you can verify it, just to check if it's tracking or not. Well now at the moment it's not tracking because I have just um, made up this thank you page. I don't really have uh, this particular page. Um, but you can check uh, sometimes if you already have um, visitors for this page, you would have a percentage conversion rate um, shown up here. Now, um, maybe a couple of things about uh, this um, tab here. You can use the equals too, in this case, that are used for Thank You page, um, if your Thank You page is always the same. Now, um, this begins with when you're using this, is um, for example, let's say you have a um, on page automatic generated product IDs with all your thank you pages like this and each time it will be a new product ID or maybe it's just an ID or something that you're tracking that which is automatically generated which is um, which will change so in this case if you just choose equals to uh, you will have to put all your um, numbers after this. If you don't want to do this, you can use 
begins with and in this case you don't have to put the number it's enough if you just put the thank you and whatever will come after the thank you every time it, it will be just ignored because it begins with thank you so all your girls are going to thank you and with whatever ideas coming after this will be tracked as a goal now let's go back to uh, this page here called description where you're choosing to type and just check what else you can uh, use you can use for example duration which will mean um, the duration which the user is staying on your website you can use that to track or people that staying uh, more than five minutes or more than five minutes on your website um, so what else just have a look pages screens possession you might want to um, track this and you say okay it should at least have a look at five pages of screens possession and this is your goal or the last one is an event uh, as an event you can see it, it's a little bit more advanced in uh, this case you want to track your events that you have already tracked with Google Analytics and you want to set up a goal for this. For example, it could be um, a, call, a call tracking. Um, you will find this event under behavior and events tab in your Google Analytics over here. Um, and um, if you have under behavior events, if you have any events, you will know about it. So right now, in this account, I don't have any events. But as an event, just to give you an idea, if you're tracking your Google Analytics codes, tracking any events on your website, you will find them here. Um, but it's not enough to find them here. You also want to set up a goal for them. And um, in this case, you're doing the same like we did before. Chat contact which we can also track as an event and then in this case you will choose event and then choose the name of the event usually um, used in with and then for example phone and if it's in phone call um, and then save and this is pretty much it here we go this is how you set up goals in google analytics if you like this video please leave your comment here, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you need help to create um, your Google Analytics account, or if you have questions about how to set up goals in Google Analytics, just contact us on thinktechonline.com.